Hey guys, I'm Emily. I'm Hannah. And welcome back to Gather Sisters. Today we thought we would show you our everyday makeup looks. Now, quick disclaimer, neither of us are trained makeup artists <laughs> and there's probably like a proper way on how to do all this, but this is just how we do it. And I'm not doing my actual routine, I'm following Em's routine because apparently her way's better, but her way's weird. Well, you're doing like your makeup, what you wear every day, you're yeah. just doing it. Her routine. My order. Yeah. Which is pretty much just the same as yours, but you just put stuff on differently. Yeah. So, yeah. So how this is going to work is that we're going to show you how we do like some of our eyebrows and our eyes. We're going to show you one, like, real time how we do it. And then time quick lapse time the lapse other. the other half of our face. Yeah. And watch me fail. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So we've already tied our hair back. Up and my ears yeah. All also, we are filming this on like the hottest day. It's already 25 degrees and it's almost 11 o'clock. It's, it's nearly 11 o'clock and it's like, it's meant to be like 30 something degrees here today. So we're probably filming this on the worst day. So if it looks cakey on camera, that's why. <laughs> yeah. So on with the video. Okay, so as well, you're going to see me with no glasses on. So if this eye is already it's doing already it, doing it's already it. doing Blink. it. There we this, go. I have problems with my eyes, which is why I wear glasses, and this eye goes that way. Yeah. So, so just to keep blinking. So if she keeps going, then that's why. That's what I'm doing. So I'm perfectly fine. <laughs> Don't get freaked out, but my eyes go weird. I just. So if you freak, get freaked out, just look at me. <laughs> so first thing we're doing is eyes, and I am eyebrows. Using eyebrows. I hope we're not yeah. putting this on our eyes. <laughs> and I am using the Tanya Burr Cosmetics brow kit which my friend Millie bought me for Christmas and I'm only just starting to use it. And I'm using the collection eyebrow kit in the shade blonde because I literally only use like that shade because my hair's light so my eyebrows are light. I'm actually gonna go with hot cocoa. So oh, I'm just bringing names. So I'm going with the darkest shade in the kit and literally all I do is I just use my natural eyebrows. I've never had anything done to my eyebrows. Neither. And I can I don't even know if I can see this but I literally mm. I normally get like a brushy thing in my bobby, but I can't find it. So, so. I just do that to start. So that is like the base of my eyebrow, um, and then I, I just fill it in. I just go straight in and fill it in, but it looks so bad because you know, I put too much in. I love the shape of your eyebrows. I'm forever gonna say it. Yeah, she loves my eyebrow shape, and I don't really know why. And I've also, never had them done. Um, if you're interested in what mirrors that we are using. Um, I'll show you mine. So we are using the number seven rose gold light up mirrors. Um, oh, I found it. Got it. I normally use this to start off with. Ew. Oh, I haven't done that. But and then I normally go in and again and brush all the excess off. I normally get a load here, so it gets rid of it. So that is like what one of my eyebrows look like and that is literally all I do. So and that is mine. This stuff's insane. <laughs> that is mine. Our eyebrows are so different. Is that literally you've done? I'm done. Okay, so quick time lapse to do the other one. Okay, so we've done both eyebrows. This one isn't, because this is like my worst eye, I struggle to do this one, but it's fine, they're pretty much even. So next we are moving on to eyes. <laughs> now, I don't do eyeshadow every single day. I do, for, unless I really can't be bothered. Like just every day, I normally just whack foundation over my eyes, but most of the time I do. So today I'm going to be using the Morphe X Jeffree Star palette, which I got for my birthday. And I'm going to be using the James Star, uh, James Star, James Star, <laughs> James Charles <laughs> X Morphe palette, which I got for Em's birthday, which I thought I'll get in from mine, but Mum surprised me. <laughs> and so I think I'll probably use, because I'm trying to make this like really natural, because this is every day. Yeah. So I'll probably just use. Um, Honest Truth. So you have to hold the screen like the sheet up. all over, and then probably 1985, which is this shade, and then um, 
Miss Diva, which is this orangey shade here. Um, I'm probably going to use, I've used this palette before, so I'm trying to remember, oh god, it, it closed on me. Um, this one, which is canvas, that one, I can't even see it, I can't hold it, there we go, face, I'm mainly going to use like this and these two. Yeah. Just so it's easier, because this one isn't great with holding it up. And you should be an artist. I actually says. haven't done much makeup since my birthday. No, me neither. You can't even, again, can't even see what I'm doing. Oh my gosh, the... I've got to try and get knocked down this because. Right. So, this is literally where, like, I haven't got a clue really. I'm going to do my right eye because that's my easiest eye to do. Cause I have to do my left one with my left hand. And if you remember what we were talking about um, in the time lapse, I was literally just taking the mic out then. <laughs> and I don't wear a lot of makeup for school either. <laughs> did you? Yeah. What did you wear? For school, so I've been left, obviously like everyone knows, but I've been left school two years and like for school and college i would wear a full face like eyebrows not so much eyeshadow because we had to be really careful yeah because obviously you could tell with eyeshadow um but i i used to do eyebrows like this yeah i mean if i did eyebrows i would literally just brush through them or put like a little bit of product in it but i would not really put a lot in um so I now just put in 1985, kind of like on top of what I've already done. And I'm putting like a darker brown. But not quite in the crease, in the corner of my eye. I'm putting a darker brown. So it's brown. kind of like, so it starts from there and then comes out and then I'll blend it in. I'm putting a darker brown in my crease and it looks really weird now, but it will look fine, hopefully. At the end. How many brushes do you use for eyeshadow? No idea. One, two, I use five, well four, but then I use one to blend all of it out. This one, a fluffy brush. Yeah, and I use this brush um, to blend out, which is the shape of a Harry Potter wand. Which she didn't use at first because she said it was too heavy. They were heavy to start off with. I'm trying to remember what colours I use for my next eye. <laughs> Um, let's do. So yeah, so for school, when I went to school, I when I'm in college, I wear like eyebrows, sometimes eyeshadow, but most of the time it's just um, foundation over my eyes. Um, so yeah, I might do that for school in year ten because I'm going into year ten. Scary. <laughs> mascara and that. So I for eyes, it was just foundation, yes. mascara, and. The only thing I, I would wear for school, because I only started wearing makeup for school halfway through year nine, like after Christmas. Um, I'm putting Miss Diva in the corners. I'll show you what colours I use at the end, because <laughs> I cannot remember. Well, I can't remember the names because I'm not like um, as the thing. Halfway so this is like what it is at the moment, but I will blend it out. Yeah, halfway through year nine. I only just started wearing mascara and that's all I could probably wear for now. Oh, I'm missing a brush. Oh well, this one for my inner corner. So that is pretty much like my eye done. You're done your eye? Yeah. Okay, I take so much longer than you for my eyes then. What about mascara? I do mascara at the end. <laughs> I don't. I do lip at the end normally. So in total, I've used four brushes for that. So yeah. So what was I saying about? Oh yeah, school. So and then for my face, it, I do um, foundation, concealer, powder, bronze, and blush. And sometimes um, when I went to college, I'd put highlighter on. So I, I would wear a full face of makeup for school and college. See, that's not allowed. Well, yeah, um, natural. Apart from 
P days when I, I didn't wear anything on P days because I didn't want to deal with the <laughs> everything shifting south and that. No, I'll just blend everything with this brush and then do it with my fluffy brush. If I can't be bothered to put any more on, which I really can't. And then do the scar at the end, so that's my eye. Very, very natural. You can't tell. You literally can't tell on camera. I've used like the lightest shades possible <laughs> for this makeup look. Okay, so these are like the finished eye looks. That one I put too much for the crease, so this one looks like I got a black eye. So normally I would go back and correct it, but I don't really could be bothered. Um, so. And I have sometimes excess come into my eyes, so I should just get a makeup wipe and go under. I don't, because I'm more careful than that one. <laughs> so now we're going on to foundation. So what foundation do you use? I use the Collection Illuminating Touch in the shade Warm Beige 3. I've only just started wearing foundation and I used to look like an orange, but now I found a technique. Did you use mine? Well, I did have one beforehand, but then I did look like it was not my shade, so I chucked it in the bin because it was almost out anyway. And then I found this shade and it's my perfect colour, so now I don't look like an orange. And I use the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation in 100 Ivory. Need to buy a new one of these. And all I out. do now is put a blob because my other one was as runny as hell. Also, we use like beauty sponges, but like <laughs> size comparison. I when I bought mine, I didn't read it, and it said tanning sponge as well as a foundation sponge. Oh my god! So, yeah, I put some on my finger like this. So I know how much I use. So I just use two pumps. I do two small pumps. And literally, I do that. So I look like Adamant. And I put dots. I wouldn't blame people if they didn't know who Adamant was. Yeah, I don't know who that is. I do dots on my face. And this is why I don't like doing my brows first, because I get foundation in my eyebrow. And you do what I do. Which I'll show you in a minute. So sometimes two pumps for me isn't enough. It just depends on how big the pumps are. See, I have are. that much left, but I do dots and then I also take it, like, down my neck. I also take mine up onto my ears. Yeah, well, I do that too. I've just started doing that. I've been watching James Charles a lot, so I just do what he does. Right, I'm just saying, I've not... I didn't even know who James Charles was till his palette came out. I did. Oh, you didn't know the drama then of him in 2019? No, and to be fair, I'm not bothered. <laughs> I, that's when I first started to know who he probably was, when his drama started in 2019. I mean, I heard of him, but I didn't really know what was going on. So when people used to say, who do you support? I'm just like, no one. I don't really want to know. <laughs> See, I like do mixture. I like dab it on like that but then if I feel like it's not going on I do like strokes whilst dabbing if you get what I mean which you probably don't and sometimes I have See, to bring it right down because my hairline your hairline's annoying I hate your hairline I'm sorry but I do <laughs> because it's so like it goes up and then across and back down when she used to let me play with her hair because I used to put like really bad plaits in it. Oh god, yeah. I used to hate doing her hair because of like plaits because of her hairline. And, that, and I just take it a bit down my neck and obviously on, onto my ears <laughs> because um, when we, well, when I do panto, um, obviously I'm using foundation or I used face paint this year. I used skin tone face paint, which actually worked um, like really well. Sometimes I have to get a brush too because it does not blend down um, my neck. I obviously I'm using a foundation that is normally double like it's about twice as dark as my normal skin tone. I'm doing um, foundation. Same. So again I just wipe the excess off the wipe. I blend it into my finger. <laughs> And that. So I always put it onto my ears because the last thing you want when you are dancing or doing any form of activity and you wear foundation or makeup is to have it all up on your face and then your ears just stick out. And that. So yeah. 
Okay, so next is concealer. So I, for under my eyes, I use the Collection Last Imperfection same. Concealer, which is the same as what Honey uses. In what shade? Cool medium. What number? Two. <laughs> same. <laughs> we literally use the and same. And then for everywhere else, so for any spots or anything, I use the Natural Collection Liquid Concealer in light. See, I use the same as M for under my eyes, and then I use, I don't know what this is, it's from like a set that my grandparents gave me, um, for like anywhere, I, no, I use this for under my eyes, and this for anywhere else. I cannot talk. <sighs> so this is where I look mental. See, I don't look too bad. But this is more like chalky, I feel like. It's I so can't use... Ooh. Got some on my nose that moment. I now can no longer use stick concealers since I started to use liquid. So See, I... I'm just using this just to get rid of it. I mean, I have that much left. So I will buy a lighter one of these for so next time. that is literally what I do and then I blend it in. So I do a few Using concealer. the Revolution brushes. I use my beauty blender. I do a concealer at a time, so I blend in my lighter one first. And I would normally take the concealer. That's probably going to annoy a lot of people. Hey. I would take my concealer normally onto my eye as well, but because we're doing it in M's way, I go above, so I do that. Yeah, but I normally do it as my eye is like a because I don't use primer normally. Well, I don't use primer. Anyway. Oh yeah, I haven't put primer on because. Um, I, I normally do if I'm wearing it all day, but I'm not wearing this all day. No, we're not wearing this all day. So... We were, but then when we had the weather, we were like, nope. <laughs> That's why we're not... Re yes, we're trying, but we're not really trying as hard as we normally do. I mean, I don't normally, like... I don't really have spots right now, but I have, like... So, what age... Well, we should say probably what ages we started wearing makeup. So, I was about 13... 14 when I started I was probably I mean the earliest when I got like my 11. first two eyeshadows was um 11 yeah you were 11 because of panto but I was about 12 oh if we're talking like that makeup then yeah I was I was 11 when I started wearing full faces of makeup because but that was only I was used this for my nose that was only like once a year yeah. When I started wearing by my own makeup, I was about 13, 14. I was 12 for like eyeshadow, and then yeah. when I started doing like powder and stuff. I didn't wear mascara till I was I like wouldn't 13. let you wear. She didn't let me wear anything. No, really. Apart from like this really horrible, because um, it was so hard to put on, like this darkish, like a creamy colour, and then like a dark brown, and then these two purple shades. They were horrible to get on. I barely wore them. Um, because I basically, because now my skin, because I've always said my skin is bad because I wore makeup basically as soon as I started secondary, so I was 11. So I basically said because her skin, she has literally nothing wrong with it apart from a couple of spots above her eyes. Like, here's my words. Whereas I have them really bad on my face now, as well as my back. <laughs> So I will. I have to wear makeup quite often to cover it because I'm like mm. I will not go out in public. Right. What do you do next? Powder. Let's go. Okay. So the powder that I use, you can't even see the line. It's this is quite old, but I've nearly done it. It's the collection, not collection. Natural. Rimmel, oh. pressed powder in transparent. And I use the natural collection because obviously some of you may know I have to be careful makeup. I have to use very like specific brands. I was so scared to get them off, like the James Charles pattern in case it didn't agree with my eyes. But I have used the natural collection in neutral and I've almost done this. I smashed it by accident. So now I use my beauty blender to go like here and then I use my brush for everything else. But this is where I could get a bit messy. And I don't want so to I mainly them. put powder, so I'll go up onto my ears um, with powder. Um, but I mainly just do like under my eyes, basically where I've put my concealer. I don't know if this is classed as like semi baking or not, but let's that. James Charles uses it, and Jeffrey Star should use it too. Right, I think this Jeffrey is the point. I have these people's palettes, so I have a Jaclyn Hill and the Jeffree Star. I have never seen or heard of these people, like, I've never watched their YouTube, never. I've just started watching I James Charles liked... now. I just like their palettes. I started watching James Charles because he has like, he shows you like how to do. And that is literally me stuff. done. 
powder. See, I now need to do my brush. I've got foundation everywhere. One thing that I do do um, is I... I've got powder on my chair. Hannah just doesn't understand what I do. Is, but I go back over my eyebrows. Yeah. Like um, I look like a clown at the minute. Just to make them a bit more defined because normally I have, like, I've ran foundation through it. I've ran concealer powder through it i'm quite rough with powder to be honest to make sure it all goes in and that's me done i look so much more better i have it all on my legs <laughs> normally because it's plus powder i don't normally get in this mess but because it's broke i'm getting in a mess <laughs> i'm gonna say you gave me when you first <laughs> so the next thing we do it we use is bronzer so i just use the Collection Bronze Glow. And I used the, these are old because these were M's. And then they were mums as but well. But she didn't use them. She bought them and didn't use them. So these are the natural collection bronzing pearls. And they are, M said they weren't much good. I love them. I, don't, I didn't get along with them, hence why when I, when you started to get into it a couple of years ago. I was she like, gave them to me just now, like. Not now, but like a couple of months ago, and I fell in love. And that is literally me for bronzer. Yeah, I put like barely. I put on. very, very little. It's because we don't do contour. I don't see the point no. of contour. I have a contour palette, but have never got on with it. Like I sometimes put it on my forehead, so I'm gonna do that. But I put very little on, and don't judge me of how I do makeup. I'm still getting used to it. We're not professionals, no. Like, I haven't done proper makeup. I've only just started doing it properly. No. Okay, so on to blush. So I use the I Heart Makeup Baked Blush. I have that, but I don't use it because it threw me off. Because oh, obviously... Stunning. I love it. It threw me off because I learned in English, we had to do like a thing, and it was like protesting about um animal cruelty and testing makeup on animals and we had to google it and i found that and it's put me off ever since because i don't really like they've it they've changed but they've changed it so i'm gonna find it. it i'm gonna change I've put the brush somewhere i don't know where so i now use the academy color blusher which is where the concealer's from because i got it in a set the light concealer so i tend to use the darker two shades of this and i used to rub them all together anyone else smile I like smile no i do that I like to suck my lips in. So it's very, very that light. That can also be highlighted too. I used to use it for And then I literally, once it's on, I literally just do that. And then... Sometimes you can literally not tell that I've put anything on. Yeah. And then other days you can literally tell and I have to blend it in for days. <laughs> literally. And I am done blusher, as you can tell. It's a little bit same. Okay, so now we're doing highlighter, and I use the Academy Colour highlighter. Um, all the Academy Colour stuff I got in like a set for my grandparents, so I don't know what colour this is, by the way. And again, this is very old, but I use the Tiny Bear Cosmetics highlighter. And I use a fan brush. In warm bronze. Fan brush. I love these brushes. I use a Harry Potter one. Um, are you studio? Most of my brushes are Studio London. These are my second lot of brushes. Mine is Rimmel. No, not Rimmel. Revolution. Anyone else put it on their nose? Yeah. Who does not put it on their nose? I don't know, but first thing I do is put it on my nose. See, I put it over my bronze and my blush. Just to give it... Because I don't use the brusher that M uses. Otherwise, I wouldn't do highlighter, but... Um... I don't know why, but my left side does not want to play today. I <laughs> Does anyone else put it here? Not on my top lip, not on my chin. No, here. No. In between your nose and lip. I do. Your top lip. Yeah. <laughs> that was a lot on my nose. My nose is literally glowing right now. I put it on my chin. And here. In between my eyebrows, but I don't do that yeah. that often. Done! I am now a go machine on my nose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next is 
mascara. I don't, we don't. I can't get on with eyeliner, so I just skip yeah, it. Yeah, we can't. We can't so do eyeliner. So I use the Maybelline Last Sensational, which is the only eye, uh, eyeliner, only mascara I will now ever use. And I use the Natural Collection mascara. I need to get a new one. It's just clumpy as hell. I don't like it. And I also brush through them to get the clumps out. And then um, this was M's, hence stainage it's I'm, stained i have cleaned it i now but... curl my eyelashes because it was ems and she didn't get on with it so now i cut out them and i can't open my mascara there we go and if i do want to put makeup on just like not every day but like i want to put something on but i can't be bothered to do all this i just put mascara on look how different that looks i know i love mascara she knows we're filming so When we put mascara on, I think very differently. Like, I have to do, like... And blinks. I literally don't. I literally, like... Force my eye to stay open. Yeah. Like, I blinked the first time. See, like, I like how I got quick... Like, I was quick at different things at the start. And now you're, like... Arms upstairs. Right, right. No, 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 I'm not done. I told you my steps. <laughs> Should have let you know. I'm on the last step. These dreadful things you that make. You curl them after. Yeah, Maggie does. Put mascara on. Yeah, Maggie does. I thought you just curled them. No, because I can't tell when they've curled, so. And they get the clumps out, so. Don't judge me, okay? That did not even do anything. I didn't even get my eyelashes in. Okay, I'm done. Okay, so now our last step is lip gloss, lipstick, whatever we use. So I'm using the Zoella Watermelon Lip Oil. I love this stuff. And you can't get Zoella stuff in Super Juggernaut anymore, which I'm sad about. And so I'm I don't using, want to waste this. I'm using the Zoella So Soft Lip Oil, which is just from a different collection, but I've had this ages. <laughs> oh! That happens. <laughs> and this just gives a shine to our lips. Okay. That's me done. Same. I just have to tidy it up at the top. <laughs> okay, yeah. so these are the finished looks. I'll put my glasses back on so my eyes don't feel weird. Yeah. And so. when I said I think Maggie, I think Maggie curl, puts my scar on and then curls it. So. Yeah. yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Comment down below what you want to see next because we're really struggling at the moment to think of video ideas. Like I've had this idea for ages. That's why we've done it. Yeah, that or comment in the our... comments or a chat. I was about to say comment on our um, Instagram. So yeah. the link, the well, the handles in the description below. Drop us a DM or comment on our posts yeah. to what we put up when our videos go live. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and we will see you again very soon. Bye! Bye.